Assalamualaikum to my dear Mima Ilyani. I hope you are you are in a good condition. So my name is Liza Batisha binti Mak Basri, magic number 2022-457684. Today, I am going to present about marketing misanalysis in Gardenia, which is promotion. Before that, I am going to introduce you about Gardenia company. What is Gardenia? Gardenia is a Singaporean bread manufacturer where it started out as a small bakery founded in 1978. Over the years, Gardenia bakeries expanded its operation to various countries in Asia such as Malaysia. The company produced 53 types of product tidies including wide range of breads, buns and yellow noodles. Gardenia has received numerous awards and certifications aiming to be the top food and baking business. Next, what is marketing mix analysis? The marketing mix analysis research optimizes factors contributing to a successful marketing strategy including the 4PS which is product, price, place and promotion. This provides a comprehensive decision making framework and ensuring harmony in all aspects. Assalamualaikum, my name is Arishana Farhani binti Muhammad Faizal and my metric number is 2022-6267 and 08. Now, I will explain about the product. As you know, product is part of marketing mix. Price, place and promotion cannot be determined until the firm has a product to sell. In Gardenia, they have a lot of variety in product. For example, bread, spray and red. A consumer buying a Gardenia product may make a decision based on their information. All the Gardenia products are in convenience product types. This is because the buyer will purchase Gardenia's product right away with the least amount of comparative research and purchasing effort. Gardenia always introduce new products that suit different age group and lifestyle. Because of that, Gardenia offer a wide variety of products that giving each customer a plenty of options. Classic white bread, fiber meal, squiggle, twiggies, delicia, wrap and numi are the example of Gardenia product. Every product in this line has a distinct sense, smoothness and freshness. Next is branding strategy. Gardenia was successfully built a strong brand names. To achieve a good brand names, it must have unique name that easy to pronounce, recognize, and remember. Gardena works extremely hard to create a solid brand image in the eyes of customer. Gardena also have their own song and trademarks to attract and remind customer of their product. Overall, Gardena has successfully positioned their product against those of competitors in the mind of consumer. Hi, my name is Atia Patricia Benti Abdurraouf, matrix number 2022-855-752. So I would like to discuss about the second key element of marketing mix, which is price. So pricing is one of the four key elements of the marketing mix and plays a crucial role in product management. Among the four P's, only pricing generates revenue while the rest function as cost centers. In Gardenia companies, they use both of market pricing, which is market skimming pricing and market penetration pricing. So I would like to explain about market skimming pricing first. So in market skimming pricing, Gardenia company sells their products at higher for a small but wealthy group of people by market skimming. This method helps the company quickly get back the money it spent on research and development and make a lot of money. The company may lower prices to get more people since there is more competition and the product is easier to find. They use competition to decide how much bread costs. This policy requires a price plan that takes into account the cost, marketing and tactics of competitors. The company sets its prices based on trends because it knows the market well. Gardeners goods are easier to get because they are less expensive than those of its rivals. The goods are sold in all mini market stores and hypermarkets in Malaysia. It makes jams, waffle, ice cream, creameries, cream bread, soft rolls, and cereals. Gardena company starts by changing by charging high prices 
to people with a lot of money but as competition grows they, they lower their price to get more people to buy next is market penetration pricing Gardenia company sells its products at reasonable prices to get a bigger share of the market. If you want to launch a new product or get more people to buy a current one, this method works well. Gardenia may be able to get a lot of customers and make more sales if it offers competitive prices and make it goods easier to get. Pricing strategy is based on the price limits customers willingness to buy and competition between companies the same price goods sold by competitors in the market put pressure on prices gardenia looks at these prices and change its own to stay competitive by using this method the business can offer lower prices than its rivals which makes the product more appealing to people who might buy it the buying power of consumers changes changes prices the company changes prices based on how much money its target market has to spend gardini can reach more people has low prices this method could help the business get a bigger part of the market and make more money gardini's pricing is greatly affected by competition between brands in order to get customers the business give lower prices than its rivals this company breaks into the market by offering products at low prices. This plan is based on price pressure, customers buying power, and the need to make the brand competitive. In Gardenia Bakery's company, they use a lot of price adjustment strategies, but I would like to explain two of them, which is psychological pricing and segmented pricing. So let's start in psychological pricing. The Gardenia company uses psychological prices to get people to buy their products. This method looks at the price that buyers have already offered and tries to match or beat them. Gardenia can get an edge over its competitors and make its goods more appealing by using psychological pricing. In this case, Gardenia's bread costs RM2.35 and RM2.40, which is uh, only 5 cents difference. So the last point of uh, pricing adjustment strategies is segmented pricing. So when a company sells the same item at more than one price, even if the price change has nothing to do with how much the item costs, this is called segmented pricing. So in Sabah and Sarawak, Gardenia products cost more than in Peninsula Malaysia. In Sabah, Sarawak, it's more pricey. Uh, for their goods in different places, Gardini has set has set prices based on area. So it uses uh, location pricing. Location pricing means setting different prices for the same product in different places, even though the cost of the product stays the same. So that's all from me. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Amira Hazin Sofia. So I would like to present more on the topic of place. Gardenia Bakeries uses direct and indirect distribution channels including retail outlets and online platforms to reach consumers. They also work with intermediaries like wholesalers, distributors and retailers. The marketing intermediaries include retailers who carry Gardenia Bakeries products and wholesalers or distributors. The distribution strategy consists of intensive, selective or exclusive methods with intensive aiming for widespread availability and selective focusing on specific outlets. The company also vertically integrates by owning or controlling parts of the distribution chain. Key elements to highlight include efficiency and effectiveness, channel relationship and flexibility and adaptability, the strategy should be evaluated for its effectiveness in meeting consumer demands, alignment with the overall marketing and brand strategy and adaptability to market changes and consumer preferences. Here, I am going to talk about the promotion marketing analysis in Gardenia Company. Before I go further, I would like to talk about what is promotion in marketing analysis. So, promotion is a vital component of a product's marketing mix uh, involving advertising, personal 
revenue selling, sales promotion and uh, and direct marketing to effectively communicate customer value and expand the company. First of all, Gardenia use advertising as a marketing strategy to sell their products. Advertising is the non-personal presentation and promotion of idea, ideas, commodities or service by a sponsor aimed to reach potential customer and encourage them to purchase their products. Previously, they use radio, ads, television and newspaper to promote their products. However, they now use social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, blogs, YouTube and website. Next, Gardenia sells its products through sales promotions, which are short-term incentives to encourage customers to buy or sell a product or service. The, the, com the company offers campaign contests and price discounts where customers receive free items or price. For instance, on April 18, 2022, Gardenia ran a Ramadan Raya contest where winners could receive up to what, uh, 1,000 ringgit in cash. They also offer free Gardenia product discounts to customers who purchase other brand items. Lastly, Gardenia bakers use public relation strategies to maintain a positive corporate image and strong relationship with its uh, target audience. They are involved in public relations and charity events and are linked to healthcare institutions. Uh, to healthcare institutions, they have partnered with organisations like the Nutrition Society of Malaysia. Gardenia also co-sponsor a carnival with the team Eat Right, Get Fit and Feel Great providing free health and wellness nutrition coaching, diet prescription and healthy service sample uh, to over 80,000 office workers. As the conclusion, Gardenia Bakery's marketing strategy centered on the four P's uh, including product, pricing, place and promotion, has established its uh, position as a leading player in the consumer product sector. The brand's focus on product innovation, strategic pricing and effective promotion has allowed it to navigate the competitive gardening and outdoor recreation industry. Gardenia's success is attributed to its ability to adapt to competition from major rivals like Massimo and Apollo. The brand's marketing mix consists of superior product quality, competitive pricing, widespread distribution, and persuasive advertising. The brand's ability to combine innovation and strategic marketing will continue to drive its success in the ever-changing consumer goods market.